in um in Primark that I saw this and I thought oh this is so cute just pop around my head yeah just, you know put the water in and you I'm not sure this is necessary but I got some Dettol cleaning surface wipes because I'm like that <laughs> I've got a fan to cool me down hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm Tina and today I'll be filming for you what's in my hospital bag <sighs> I'm almost there um, another few days perhaps a week now but bag is finally packed it's been sort of semi-packed <laughs> for the last month or so but i feel as if now i truly feel ready <laughs> if that makes sense you know when you truly feel that it, you can grab and go so now yeah finally it's there it's packed perhaps a couple of things like maybe um if i wanted to bring it like some makeup like that I have in my makeup bag I'm gonna put a couple from there into the other makeup pouch that I have um should be like a last minute thing if I remember if not it's not a big deal to be honest with you so yeah so I'll be going through my bag today I've got one bag for baby and one bag for myself um with a couple of items small items for my partner as well for, for, for daddy daddy's got but not a lot because doesn't need a lot um, <laughs> but i on the other hand and baby we having the full the full work so yeah let's let's go through the bag and i can show you what i have if i missed out anything please feel free to comment below um because you know others will read the comment and they will see it i'm not sure if i'm going to upload this um hopefully i can upload it before um i'm i'm in labor um and i can actually see the comments as well and add some more i and add some more items to my bag but other than that this be good for others to see um for you know for the for the future so yeah so please do feel free to add other comments on here just to help other moms out to get the best start of this bag because it's not easy to pack at all it's just a lot of focus and trying to remember that you've got everything yes there are lists um on various different places that you can check out and and list things but i find that a lot of it's also very personal as well and how you feel that you want to be some people like it maybe um your your how you feel you might want to have just like maybe just a bra and shorts so or you want to have the hospital gown or you want to bring your own nightwear pajama you know all those different things needs to be considered so for me it was a process within itself but finally i've got there at least i'm 98 percent there so let's go through the back okay so let's start off with the um the clothes pouch I've got these bags here, these these um, pink storage bags from Amazon. I find those, you know, very good for organising things rather than trying to pull things out of your bag or your suitcase and everything going everywhere. I know that this is the clothes bag uh, with a couple of other things there that I know is in this bag. This is a shower bag and so on and so forth. So. Um, I try to pack as sensible and as organized as I can for myself to not be too panicky or having anxiety um, and also not knowing where where things are um, and just trying to find things as easy as possible so this for me is perfect so let's get to this again these are on Amazon you can get different ones I just picked this Quickly. I didn't even think about it. Saw it on there. It had okay reviews. Just put it in a basket, order it, and I gave it a bit of a nice wipe with antibacterial wipes um, beforehand as well, and then cleaned that again with some, um, uh, you know, water wipes. So it's all it's all good. It's all dried. So this is the first, the first one. 
here. So let's put this here. So this is the clothes bag, so to speak. So firstly, we have, um, so this is the kind of night, nighty type dress that I'll be wearing to, to labor in. Um, it's, it's very loose, it's very soft and it's a strap. So um, I found that in case I'm hot, I can just put on, in case I'm cold, I can just put on um, the robe. But if not, if I'm really hot and I just need to cool down, I don't have to worry about it. I've got, I've got this here, which I just wear with a normal bra. Yeah, I wear it with a normal bra. So I've got that here. So I've got the night, nighty. Um, and then we have, um, once I've given birth and I've had a shower and everything like that, I put on this kind of really nice, soft, um, uh, nighty that's got long sleeves, it's got a colour and it's got buttons coming down the middle as well. I got this from TK Maxx here um, in the UK. I'm based in London and anyway, so I'll be taking that for after, after labour. And then I have two of these bras, nursing bras. They clip like so. Yeah, nursing bras. So I most likely put the black one on with the black long sleeve nighty. Um, yeah, and that'll be me ready to feed baby. Um, and then we have a backup. This is a backup nighty. This one is in like a purplish color, similar to the other one that was black. That I'm gonna labor in. If I wanted to, if I felt a bit hot for some reason, I can again put this on here with the black no slip bra. Okay, and in this bag, I have also some knickers to put on as well um i've got one two three four of those um i have three of the always like these are like the adult nappy i like to call them three of them I'm not sure i'm going to wear them but they seem quite common to to have on after being in in labor so i got a pack of those i'm just bringing three of those with me um i'm not sure what i feel comfortable in probably this or just using my normal kind of black stretchy knicker with a pad okay i'll see how i feel about that and then next i just have some going home clothes which a t-shirt big t-shirt and some comfy comfy trousers black trousers yeah okay, this is the black t-shirt here big t-shirt just to go home in keep it very simple black <laughs> simple and just not too much um of clothes you know to think about and i have this pink pink bow which i think i put on just to make me feel like oh i'm just giving birth to a girl you know i love this this is so cute i saw it this was actually, actually in um in primer that i saw this and i thought oh this is so cute just pop around my head yeah <laughs> yeah so that's what i have clothes wise in this bag also in this bag i have this little pouch as well and this contains the pads you know that I want to bring with me. Hospital usually do have pads. I'm giving birth at a birth center that is on the hospital ground, but it's a bit separate to the labor ward because I'm low risk. So I'm giving birth in the birth center. So I'm, you know, they will have pads there. But I thought I bring my own um, as well. And also in here I have a couple of disposable breast pads as well. So those are within this little pouch here cute and zipped up and I put those within the clothes bag um because I just felt like that was the best place best place for those to be 
um, for me, you know, like, yeah, the best place for those to be. So yeah, so, so get these out of the way. And then we move on to, move on to the next bag. Um, before I move on to the next bag, actually, let's talk about other items of clothing. So I've got a robe here as well, a white robe, which I'll be taking with me. Um, nice and comfy and soft, not too long. <clears throat> yeah. It's not too long but it's the right length and it's very soft and i, I feel it'll be it, it's not thin either or i'm all thick it's a good it feels good for me um i don't want to be too hot i don't want to be too cold so yeah this is what i'm also taking with me is a robe okay right and then we have a couple of towels here so I'm not bringing extra big towels, just a couple of small towels, one for me, one for daddy. And yeah, a couple of small towels because they'll have towels there in the hospital, but sometimes you just prefer to have your own stuff. <laughs> you know, you prefer to have your own stuff. So um, I'm bringing a couple of those towels as well. Yeah, um, and a couple of fannels small face wipes funnels um <clears throat> yeah bring those as well okay so next we're gonna look into the other pouch which is this bag here this pouch here um this has mainly stuff to do with the shower showering and and um sort of like cleaning down there a bit <laughs> so i'll show you what's inside so i've got a pair of Got a pair of um, flip flops. Um, these I got. This is like for one pound or one pound fifty, I think it was, in Primark. Oh, so I got these um, from the male section. I couldn't find any in the ladies. Um, I'm a size um, four, which is thirty seven in the um, in the US, and I got these in a six, which is like forty forty one. But they're fine for the shower. I just wanted something on my feet talk in to the shower with i just couldn't bear walking bare feet into the shower so this is these are these are just for the shower get out the shower and then i put on um another slipper that i have here which i'll show you in a moment but yeah these are just something that i needed for myself to have um but yeah they're a very good value in primark one pound for a pair of flip-flops um, and then I have shower cap, also from Primark. Um, there's a nice kind of soft cotton feel inside, and the plastic at the side, nice and pink. So I've got also in here for um, this Perry bottle from yeah a shop called Ninja Mama. So yeah, we all know about this you know put the water in and you on your lady bits <laughs> um and also within this i'm going to add a bit of witch hazel so i've got some witch hazel in the bag as well which i'll add which is really great for your postpartum care um yeah i've heard great things about about um witch hazel so i'll be adding a bit of that to the water before i squeeze it on my lady lady bits <laughs> so this is something i have in here as well um and then what i have next is well lastly is the um cotton so i have these um cotton wool which i thought once i've used the peri bottle to wash down there i may want to just kind of pat it with some cotton wool i don't know i'll see how that goes because these are like sections so you can just peel one off and pat yourself with it dry rub any tissue and then you can just dispose of it so i thought that might be something um that i might need i'm trying to cover all bases but i don't know we'll see how that goes 
yeah that's in that bag um so yeah the cotton roll cherry bottle which shape which hazel shower cap and a pair of flip flops so i've got that in there next we have this bag here which has some of the more uh, stuff to make you feel a bit more comfortable in the room so we have um on this pouch we have um eye mask one for daddy one for me we've got some earplugs in case i want to drown out a little bit of that like noise that sometimes you have in these places so yes i'll just bring that just in case there's like things going on that i don't want to hear um yeah let's bring that as well got a pair of disposable slipper which i'll be putting on as soon as i get there with my black dress okay black black night dress um I'm not sure this is necessary but i've got some dental cleaning surface wipes because i'm like that <laughs> so i'm bringing those as well with me i've got a fan to cool me down yeah so i've got a fan in here and then i have a diffuser which i'll show you the oils for in a moment of course i've got three oils i'll be using in my diffuser to kind of infuse the room i've got one at home already but i'm taking i bought another one for um the hospital because i think it's something that i want to have in a room just gives me like, that nice relaxation feeling in the birth room so i've got that and lastly i have this really nice cute pouch i got from amazon um just for some small makeup items which i'll just pop in here as well just maybe a uh, mascara um eyebrow pen something like that um but yeah i've got this so yeah that's what i have in that pouch so when we get there i'll whip this pouch out get out the fan get out the wipes the slipper the diffuser and yeah we're good so yeah that is a lot of pouch done and then we have in here um yeah got the haka this is the manual breast pump that you know in case i'm leaking i don't waste my milk i can just put it on here and it will catch the milk so i've got a haka i've heard great things about this never used it before so i'm looking forward to seeing how it works yeah um i usually in my with my first pregnancy i had the spectra i didn't have a manual pump but i've heard i said to you great things about this one so i want to see exactly if it works for me yeah so i've got that as well in this bag now at the back it is in case i want to feel more tucked in not so like wobbly everywhere if the baby comes out and jiggly and you know things are still moving and contracting and just out of place i thought i'll just bring this waist trainer that i have or belly binder whichever one you want to call it this still fits around me quite well it's very stretchy and um, so um, I'll bring that one with me and also I'll put in here in case I don't want to in case I do not want to use this one I can um, use this wrap so it goes round I'll get I'll, I'll link this in the description I got it from Amazon um so it has all these layers it's wrapped around um yourself it's around five meters i believe it is so i'll see which one i feel like putting on so i've got that there as well um before i get to the snacks a couple of snacks i'll just show you the toiletry bag so i've got like this is the essential for me i've just got the essential in here that i would use 
So I've got um, face wipes, I've got traveling toothbrush and toothpaste, Vaseline. I've got a uh, shower gel, Dove. I love the smell of Dove. It makes you feel fresh. And I think after giving birth, I just want to feel really, really smell a bit of Dove around me. Um, I've also got another bar of soap. I've got a bar of soap in here as well. Coconut um, scent from the body shop. And um, I've got a puff to kind of scrub myself with a bit. I've got um, face wash. Um, face cream and earbuds um, lip repair which I'll be using yes throughout because um, I've you know having dry lips isn't something that I really want to be <laughs> experiencing any cracks so I've got um, lip repair so I've got that as well I have hand sanitizer just in case and um, I've got edge control after I finished giving birth and I may want to you know plop a bit of makeup on you know feel a bit you know um, alive <laughs> and I might want to do my edges so I've got some edge control I've got to add the edge control brush in here in a bit got my hair braided so I don't have to worry about my hair it will stay like this now for for a little while so um just gonna do my edges if they're a bit um out of control and so yeah lay those edges and then these are the essential oils that I was speaking about earlier which I use in my diffuser I've just got three here which I'll just put a drop each in the water of the diffuser so I've got um, sweet orange organic essential oils, oil, and I've got frankincense, um, and I've have also lavender. Heard these three are great to use in the um, labor, the labor um, time when you're giving birth, um, help to relax you, um, and yeah, so. I'll be using those in my essential using this essential oil in my diffuser okay and next we have a couple of snacks i've gotten some bars i've got um these 100 percent whole grain oats bar with maple syrup from nature valley a couple things to snack on for some energy um i've got some salted caramel raw fruits and nut bars I've got a couple of water that I like to drink. I'm very particular when it comes to water. Um, I like particular pH of water, particular taste of water. And for me, I just want to have what I'm, you know, used to. So um, yeah, just want to have what I'm used to. So I've gotten these. Um, so these are from Mark and Spencer, um, mountain water. So I love these. These are pH of. Um, I'm big on pH, seven point four. So. Um, yeah, these are good and taste it tastes great as well. Um, I still need to get some crackers, add some crackers there as well, or rice cake. Um, I might add add those to the bag as well as my snacks. Well, yeah, those are the items that um, yeah, those are the items that I have for myself in the bag. I quickly run through um baby's bag. Um, so within this bag, my my bag, I'll be adding a couple of of um, daddy's stuff maybe boxers change of clothes things like that but he's he's pretty um simple to pack for just a couple of things in here already have um a toothbrush for him so yeah you can use my face wash you can use a body wash all that stuff we can share so for him i'll just add boxers change of clothes and yeah that's it good to go so now baby's items not a lot in here but still all the essential that we will need so let's start off with a couple of the clothes so um i've just got uh i have two i may add another one to make it three 
sleep suit but i've got two currently in here just the usual newborn sleep suits pink and the pink and white these have been washed and ironed already um and a couple of uh baby grow as well yeah two of those hat and yeah just some just the usual essential stuff for baby um i've got here this sort of um wrap that i bought already um it's like it's got the velcro um i'll, I'll link it in the bottom as well this one on, on um on amazon i put two of those in there um next we have a blanket let's put these over here Next, we have a blanket for baby as well. Really nice and soft blanket. I love the feel of this one here. Um, and then we have a second blanket sl slash um, sort of blanket, come type muslin blanket. It's like an all in one blanket. Really nice and soft. It can be used for a variety of different things. Um, I've got a birth. A bird cloth as well in here, you know, these are nice, also from Amazon as well. And yeah, a towel. Got baby's towel there. So yeah, those are what we have for baby in terms of clothes and blankets and you know things like that. Um, and then we have this little cutie here, which is a um white noise machine, it does white noise, it does um yeah, white noise heartbeat and a couple of other sounds and rain i think there's also a rain sound and some lullabies so this is something that i thought was cute again from amazon and uh, yeah so this would be with us because sometimes you know in hospitals and in these settings birth birth centers you have a lot of people going in and out when baby's trying to sleep so i think it'd be good to have some kind of white noise there we could have used our phone but i thought it would be something that is just specific for white noise so you've yeah, gotten that as well from amazon and here we have baby's um bag toiletry bag and here i have some nappies um wipes um body wash we won't need those this is a bag that i've packed that i'll be using even at home so i thought just put everything there that i need or get home from those people, I wouldn't have to think about um, where our stuff is. There's a, there's a bag already prepared with all the essential change in nappy items. Um, I've got a, this really nice um, Walida um, nappy change cream, which contains calen calendula. Apparently, it's really good. Um, so, I've been that on baby bottom. And then next, we have. In here, I put this in the bag because it's coconut oil. Just pop any possible leakage because it gets, yeah, sometimes coconut oil can get a bit um, escape from the tub. So I put that in the plastic bag. But they've got, I've got here coconut oil, 100% organic virgin coconut oil for newborns as well. So this I love to use on baby's skin. I use it on my son's skin. I didn't go for anything else it's for coconut oil. And this one will stick to with my second child so coconut oil for skin um so yeah let's put this back in here and yeah that is it so we have a next baby so i said to you earlier i'll be listing all of the items that i've spoke about be listed in the description box so yeah these are what i'll be packing oh uh, move a bit yeah this is what i've packed and yeah these are good for me i will may consider bringing with us um oh i'll be bringing this as well <laughs> bringing the breastfeeding pillow this is a really nice one very soft very comfortable so bringing breastfeeding pillow with us as well but separate from that we're considering bringing our own pillows and blankets um so we have 
two blankets that we could possibly bring along with um, two of our favorite pillows. But I'll see, we'll think about it because it's a lot to take into hospital. You know, you feel like you're just taking the whole house with you, right? You're taking baby's bag, your bag, car seat, because we're probably gonna bring the car seat inside the birth center. And then you have to travel with pillows and then blankets. So it's a lot of stuff to carry. So we'll see, we may just, just you know, stick with the breastfeeding pillow um, and just use whatever pillows and blankets they have at the hospital. Depends on the time of birth really, because you just don't know what time of, time of the day you're gonna be giving birth. So yeah, so all the items. So yeah, let me know if I missed anything I said earlier, just add it to the comments. Okay guys, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I've covered things that you would also put in your hospital bag. And yeah, thank you so much. Okay guys, take care.